I am. How could you be so incompetent to, you know, and to mix up a baby, give my baby to someone, somebody else? But first at 11 o'clock, a heartbreaking mix-up. A mother claims a local hospital gave her newborn baby to another woman to breastfeed. And good evening to you. I'm Liz Chow. And I'm Bill Ritter. That mother says she's horrified. Her daughter spent her first hours of life with another mom. And she plans to file suit against the hospital tomorrow. Eyewitness News reporter Jen Maxfield with this exclusive story. She's outside Brookdale Hospital in Brooklyn. Jen? Bill, on January 31st, two girls were born here at Brookdale Hospital. Within four hours, both of their mothers had the first initial S and the last name Brown. And according to one of the mothers, the similarities led to a bizarre mix-up with a baby being breastfed by a woman who was not her mother. I was downstairs waiting for her, and somebody else was bonding with my child. Anaya Victoria was born January 31st at Brookdale Hospital. Anaya's mother, Shatisha Brown, had dangerously high blood pressure and was told she couldn't be with her daughter for the first 24 hours while doctors monitored the 32-year-old for seizures. But according to Shatisha and her lawyer, Anaya wasn't resting in the nursery. She was bonding, breastfeeding, and taking family photos with another mother. How could you be so incompetent to, you know, and to mix up a baby, give my baby to someone, somebody else. Shatisha, who asked that we not show her face on camera, says 18 hours after her daughter was born, a doctor came into her room to tell her there had been a terrible mistake. Another new mother at Brookdale, also with the first initial S and the last name Brown, was given Anaya as her own, despite numbered ID bracelets to prevent this kind of mistake. There are so many measures that could have been taken that are supposed to be taken by the hospital to make sure that this particular thing doesn't happen. And they failed in every way. According to Shatisha, the mistake was discovered when relatives from both Brown families began arguing at the nursery window, everyone pointing at Anaya and saying, that's our baby. For this mother of three, the hardest part was realizing that after breastfeeding with another mother, Anaya was rejecting her own mother's milk. Against Shatisha's wishes, her daughter is now on formula. That bond when you breastfeed your child is like, that's everything. The Browns attorney plans to file a notice of claim tomorrow, putting Brookdale Hospital and the city on notice that the family intends to file a lawsuit. We tried contacting Brookdale Hospital. Their spokesperson says they can't comment on any case where there is pending litigation. We're live tonight in the Brownsville section of Brooklyn. I'm Jen Maxfield, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Jen, thank you.